let's see the earth's pressure for cohesive soil now the basic formula that we used was sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 tan square 45 plus 5 by 2 plus 2c tan 45 plus 5 by 2 and in case of active state this sigma 1 becomes the major principal stress or it is also equal to sigma z that is equal to gamma z and sigma 3 is the minor principal stress and it is also equal to the active earth pressure so from here it can also be written as pa is equal to 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi gamma z minus 2c under root of 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi and 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi is nothing but the active earth pressure coefficient so from that it is equal to this so this is a basic formula for active earth pressure in case of cohesive soils now if we put z equal to 0 that is at top of the wall so active earth pressure is equal to minus 2c under root of ka so here we see that the active earth pressure at the top is not equal to 0 but it is having a value of minus 2c under root of ka it means that the soil is in tension at the top of the wall or we can say that soil is a tension in this zone so if we try to find out the point at which pa is equal to 0 so if we put pa 0 here so from that ka gamma z is equal to 2c under root of k and from here z is equal to 2c upon gamma under root of k this z we denote as z naught so this is the depth at which active earth pressure is equal to 0 so it means that in this depth z naught z naught the soil is in tension and so this is the pressure distribution for this zone and if we go further so this will be the pressure distribution so up to this depth 2z naught we can say that the net active earth pressure is equal to 0 so for 2z naught which is equal to 4c upon gamma under root of ka net pressure net pressure on the wall on wall is equal to 0 so for this depth we can make an unbraced cut in this soil this soil can sustain itself it will not fall because it is having tension in this zone so it will not fall here so we can make the unbraced cut so this is one of the question which is asked that what will be the depth of the soil up to which an unbraced cut can be made so it can be given as 4c upon gamma under root of k now if this soil is purely cohesive purely cohesive so for that phi is equal to 0 and if you put phi is equal to 0 then k is equal to 1 so from that this depth h naught if i say it is equal to 4c upon gamma so this way we can find this out now if we want to design this wall in case of cohesive soil so what happens here we are saying that net pressure in this depth 2z0 is equal to 0 it means that only pressure in this zone is being applied on the wall so that is true theoretically but in reality what happens because this part in this part the soil is in tension up to depth z0 the soil is in tension so what happens if this is the wall so it loses the contact with the ball, wall so this soil will not remain in this in the contact up to depth z0 so it is not applying any pressure so we for design we ignore this part ignore the depth z0 and we design the pressure distribution as this one this bigger triangle and so if you want to find out the force in this wall for that bigger triangle so we know that pa is equal to ka gamma z minus 2c under root of ka 
and we want to find out the force for this triangle if I show it with another color this triangle here so if if we are trying to find out the force at any depth z so we are removing this part z0 so net depth would be this depth would be z minus z0 and again this is a triangle and this ordinate can be found out using active pressure so the force would be this is the base that is pa and this depth is z minus z0 and so the area would be force is equal to half k gamma z minus 2c under root of k into z minus z0 and z0 we know it is equal to 2c under root of k so if you put z0 here and if you multiply this so from that this value of force comes out to be k gamma z square upon 2 minus 2c under root of k z plus 2c square upon gamma so this is a force for which the wall would be designed so we are ignoring this part in which the soil is in tension because in this part the soil loses contacts with the wall so that's why we avoid that now the examiner can ask you that the soil does not lose con contact in that case what would be the force so this is a force what we found out when the soil loses contact so we use this pressure diagram this blue one now if it does not lose the contact then the pressure in this zone this green one will be balanced by this one so only the remaining pressure would be this blue one this one so to find out that we just now we found out this whole triangle and if we deduct this green triangle from that so for that from that we can find out the required condition that is when the soil does not lose contact so in that case what happens let me tell you again that this part is balanced by each other so we need not worry about that the pressure that will be applied on the wall it will be due to only this part so in that case the pressure can be given as ka gamma z z square upon 2 minus 2c under root of kz so what we have done actually to find out this formula right here properly f is equal to k gamma z square upon 2 minus 2c under root of kz so we found out this bigger triangle and then we calculated the value for this smaller triangle what will be the value for this smaller triangle we know that this depth is z0 so the pressure or the force will be k gamma z0 minus 2c under root of k into 1 by 2 into z0 now if you put the value of z0 as 2c under root of 2c upon gamma under root of k and you put it here and you deduct this value from this if this is f1 and this is f2 so if you do f1 minus f2 so you will get this value and that is the required pressure distribution or the force per unit length of the wall so this was for the active state case and for the passive state we can write passive pressure is equal to so if I write from the initial formula so sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 10 square 45 plus 5 by 2 plus 2c under 2c 10 45 plus 5 by 2 and in passive state 
sigma 1 is equal to your passive pressure and sigma 3 is equal to vertical pressure that is sigma z which is equal to gamma z so passive pressure is equal to this term is nothing but the passive arch pressure coefficient kp gamma z plus 2c under root of kp so here in this passive state it is not becoming zero at the stop point also if you put z equal to zero so passive pressure is equal to 2c upon under root of kp it means that it is not becoming negative it will remain positive at top also so the diagram will be something like this so that was for the cohesive soil